Hello booktube, welcome back to the second video in a row! Uh, they're back to back videos because I am starting my... Well, we all are, at the stroke of midnight, are starting booktubeathon. Um, and this is the first year I've ever done it and I thought I should really have my TBR in before I start reading. So, uh, yes, this is a really quick video just to run through the books that I hope to read in the next seven days. So I only just chose these um, very recently, <laughs> on Friday, uh, the Wednesday I chose them and then I had to set out to my parents farm for the weekend so I've only just gotten back and it's Sunday afternoon and I'm gonna start reading tomorrow, ah! Okay, so the tags are to read a book with the person on the cover, so for that one I have chosen The Fifth Wave. Um, most of these books I know nothing about, and some of them I bought specifically for the reasons, but um, this one I bought a while back, it did have a bit of hype around it, but when I bought it I did think it was a zombie book, but now having looked at it I think it might be an aliens book? I'm not sure, I'm intrigued, it's gonna be interesting. The second one is read a hyped book, which isn't this one. So my hyped book is gonna be Neil Gaiman, Sandman. Um, I've not I've had this floating around for a while, it's actually one of my friend's books and he lent it to me and then skipped the country so I've got to keep it the whole time, which is exciting. Um, but I haven't read it because I just haven't really gotten into it but there has been so much hype for so long around it that I'm going to finally read it this week. The next one is to read a book in one day. I picked up Geekarella which just looks really fun and exciting and nerdy just like me and part of my subcultures so I'm going to uh, read that in one day for sure. It's, I mean, it's not tiny, it's still like 300 and something pages but it just looks like it's going to be a really easy happy read for me so I'll read that all in one day. The next one is read a book about a character who is completely different to you. I'm going to put Divergence. It's not part of that trilogy, it's by Tony Ballantyne um, and it's science fiction. So I think, I think the characters in it are robots? Yes, I've had this book for a really long time and it's kind of really science fiction-y set in space with robots and planets and stuff but it's about artificial intelligence and stuff so I figured that's removed from me in that I'm hopefully not an AI, I clipped the I'm not a robot button enough. Um, now the next one's gonna be hard because it's reading a book outside and it's the middle of winter in Canberra and it was minus eight the other day so this is gonna be very cold, very cold reading outside. I might need to like go on the balcony and read and then come inside <laughs> every 10 minutes or something to warm up. I think I'm going to do The Messenger which is another one I've had just floating around in my book forever and I don't really have a reason to read it outside I just thought it would be good for that. Oh, uh, the you bought because of the cover. So the book that I bought because of the cover is this one. Look how pretty it is. I was tossing up between it and a couple of other books in the store but um, this one was there and the cover was just so beautiful. It looks like alternate universes, which I read on the back is exactly what it is! So I was pretty happy about that. It's really pretty. Just look at those colours, the blue, the pink, the purple. It's just, it's really cool. Cityscape, it's arty, it's wonderful. I bought that all because of the cover so I'll read that, that one. And then finally the last one to make it seven books in seven days is Wild Like Me. Which I bought a little bit because of the cover as well. Mainly because it says wild with an E on the end which is like Oscar Wilde. And I just die for everything Oscar Wilde. Um, and it just looks super cute and a little bit easy to read as well. So yes, all of these books. I might switch up the categories and read a different one out loud, outside and stuff. But this, this is them and I really really hope I can read this pile of books the size of my head in one week. But we'll see! We'll see how we go! <laughs> cool, thanks so much for watching everyone. How do you turn this thing off?